They're air conditioned. Hmm, a streamlined locomotive to match the passengers. What a train and what service. A sun bath on the way to the beach. At least you can't do this in an upper berth. The girls seem rather frantic to splash in the blue sea. If they actually get wet, it'll probably be a miracle. This way, please. Look out, girls, you'll get your feet wet. Beach fashions on southern shores is strictly for the ladies. Ahem, strictly for the ladies. My, my, they certainly have beautiful scenery down in the land of winter sunshine. The very latest thing, a printed linen halter top with navy wide rib body. And over this is worn a matalas terry cloth cape with hood. A one piece behema blue halter mayo in the new kava stitch. And over this, a heavy terry cloth robe with flared skirt and contrasting linen sash. Something new in beachwear material. Both shorts and shirt are made of chamois gabardine. If you really intend to go in the water, be careful of this one. It's new, a newspaper print suit with a matching short coat and detachable hood. Something to look over while you stretch out on the white sand. Bahama blue with white tubular straps and trim done in cover stitch in Mayo style. A blue rib stitch Mayo with white sunback halter top. Lady, lady, how this would have shocked your great grandmother. A nautical costume of shark skin with fitted coat over a navy and white polka dot silk blouse. Striped mayo with separate plain colored wraparound skirt. One more, white crepe rubber mayo with fishnet seahorses for trim. Happy <laughs> lovely day. It makes us envious just to look at you. And a game of checkers after a hard set of tennis is relaxing. suit fashions for 1952. These are called heavenly bodies because they are out of this world and are being shown by Cole at Hollywood. Gold last takes, sparkling with plenty of stardust and plenty of imagination. This is called the wing ding. Wear it up or down for obvious reasons. And here is the triple threat in terry cloth. Wear this as a draped skirt, a hooded cape, or as a bare shoulder pool dress. Next in the solar system of swim styles is a skirted petal suit. Pack your trunks and head for the beach. Here's an invitation that gets an immediate response. It's got dunk me written all over it, and a mighty cute line it is too. Mother and tots are going to be well suited in their fashion. In cool house coats, full length and shorty models, respectively.
Quick change for a picnic on the unsurpassable beach at Aruba. A brief interlude, bikinis for every taste, lace embroidered or boldly striped. And tailored from the same miracle fiber as the rest of the gal's travel wardrobe. In the exciting age of jet travel, the ease of getting there is given an assist by Dame Fashion with easy wear, easy care styles. Colorful separates for the travel-minded girl as the styles of Eileen go along on this exciting vacation trip to the Dominican Republic. It's a happy greeting for the styles which will be popular for summer 1961. So let's go along for a look-see where the girls are. In cotton shark skin, the tunic makes a graceful swing into warming temperatures. The parka is something brand new under the sun. Ideal for the beach, this outfit in striking colors will no doubt score high this summer. Jacket with matching shorts and a sleeveless cotton knit turtleneck shirt as the trade winds bring news of garden fresh floral separates. Eye catching for sure. The bold stripe long line boater in cotton knit is a striking attraction, featuring a sleeve pocket for sunglasses, another front runner for popularity along the sandy byways. And so girls, there's your picture for a summer of fun and style. Happy vacation time. The girl has to use her head to keep up with the changing seasons and styles. That goes for swim caps as well, with Joan here favoring the crest-shaped motif against the new close shape the colorful 20s updated for today's highest high fashion. Outdoors at the Caribbean vacation retreat, the style-wise news of the day cameraman moves poolside with the fashionable young moderns for a close-up of Mary's swim cap. They call it Rosette on the Rocks, a clean-lined number with a touch of glamour, guaranteed to turn heads her way. Continuing the showing of Playtex designer swim caps, we find that flowers do go to Milady's head, as witness Sheila's bouquet for the beach. Pretty enough, she says, to wear away from the water. Virginia needs room on a board to show off nosegay, and what a sweet way it is to keep her hair dry. Dorothy, the mermaid of the group, chooses Maypole. And as you'll see, it's a designer swim cap which provides a simple, subtle flattery. It's bright wide stripes curving to a flared top knot. Oh yes, we know all about these things, girls. Always do a heads up job to bring you the latest in fashion news. By the world's foremost designers, contrasting insets form striking bodice treatment and slim flattering lines in this Oleg Cassini creation for Peter Pan. Poolside at this Dominican Republic retreat, we're offered a look at the drawstring bikini as only the French can interpret it. Shown alongside is the French influence in the sophisticated little girl look. They do go near the water. Brass buttons and military treatment in a youthful and ultra-feminine swimsuit, also by Cassini for Peter Pan. In the same distinctive manner is the sheath in a colorful Orlon knit with its accompaniment of ocean pearl buttons, trim addition to the beach scene. Again from France, a suit of cotton, woven so that it is transparent in the hand, opaque when worn. In a season of jungle print, this is definitely high style. She too finds it's fashionable to try the water in her very new swimsuit. And that, boys, 